I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do to properly upload your videos to YouTube, regardless if it's for a school project or you're trying to get one of these or your school project actually turns into one of these. Hello, my people of the internet. Now, if you are new to me and this YouTube channel, we talk about all things YouTube. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss out. Now, there has been a lot of changes on YouTube and it's time that I actually update this video. But my question to you is, are you doing it right? I really want to show you exactly what you need to do to properly upload your videos to YouTube. And there's a lot of new little settings. So let's just jump right into it. Let's take a look. Now that YouTube switched to Creator Studio, the first thing that we need to do is mouse up to the upper right hand corner, make sure we're logged in. We'll see our little avatar icon. What we need to do is roll over to this icon right here and click on that. You see upload video, go live, create post. Now you might not see go live or create post because those are options that are available with more subscriber count and you might not have the requirement, but good thing that we're actually focusing in on how to upload videos to YouTube. So let's go ahead and click on that. That's going to take you to the creator studio and you're going to see your screen like this. Now there are two ways to actually upload your videos to YouTube. The first way is the drag and drop option. All we need to do is find the file, drag and drop it right here and it starts to upload to YouTube. Now the second way to actually upload your videos to YouTube properly, we want to come down to this button right here where it says select files and we're going to search our computer for the file that we want to upload. Once we have that, we go ahead and hit open and it starts to upload here. Now, if you look over here in the left-hand side, you can see the percentage uploaded and it has the minutes and seconds left. Now, depending on how fast your internet speed will actually be faster to upload to YouTube. So if you have a slow internet connection or slower bandwidth, it's gonna take a lot longer. Don't get frustrated here, just be patient or just upgrade your internet. But once it's done, you'll see it's uh, getting ready to process. Now, depending on your file size, it might take a little bit longer to process. Uh, but if you actually uh, go through this process, YouTube's actually pretty fast with this, um, especially as of late, it seems to be uh, speeding up the processing time. Now that it's actually processing, they've come up here to the title. You notice that there's already a title here and it's basically your file name that is the default. So what we'll wanna do is change this. What I'm gonna do is go a lot more in depth and have a very specific training on how to optimize a title and also how to optimize your videos that's actually coming out soon. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. The next thing that we wanna do is basically do a description. This description is extremely important is to make sure at least one paragraph at uh, the beginning of this paragraph reinforces this title very specifically. Now, the next thing that we need to do is pick our thumbnail. Now, you can see that YouTube has auto-generated that thumbnail. What we want to do is do a custom thumbnail. So let's go ahead and click on that. And we pre-designed a thumbnail. Go ahead and go from there. So you can do your custom thumbnail or you can choose one of the, the thumbnails that YouTube auto-generated from your, your video file. Next, you can see playlist. Now, playlist is pretty cool here. And we're going to have some very in-depth training on this, but you can go ahead and select your playlist right here. And if you wanna create a new playlist, you can do that as well, but we'll go ahead and select it to that one. Uh, you can select multiple playlists. The next one is a new feature, which is audience. Who's the, the video intended for? This has all to do with COPPA. And um, basically you have to self designate if the video is actually meant for kids or not. If it's not meant for a kid's audience, but kids would be appealing to it, go ahead and hit no. If it's made specifically for kids, you need to be able to put that in there. And then two, if it's content that is age restricted, you can say, hey, you want, this is more for a mature audience. We can go ahead and select that to 18 years old. But this video, we wanna keep it uh, that it's not made for kids, uh, even though it might be consumed by some kids, uh, but also it's, it's not restricted for anyone over 18 years old. Now, um, most of the people would skip here. And what I want you to do is see this more options. This is where we're able to put a little bit more detail to say, hey, there might be an integrated brand deal, a sponsorship, and then also tags. Now tags, we're gonna go really in depth on this in another training, but at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you a power tip and show you exactly how to find the right tags for your videos to get your vi videos more visibility and views uh, out on YouTube. But for right now, let's just go ahead and, and add a few keywords that are in our title or our description or video itself and move on. Next, let's go ahead and select language. Language, basically whatever the language of the video is, this is where you select that. This one's in English, so we'll go ahead and do English here. And if we have some closed captioning, which we do not, I mean, go a little bit more in depth on your recording date. 
This is if it's very specific of the recording date and location. I don't necessarily need to give that content out to, to YouTube. Now here's an area where a lot of content creators make mistakes is the license and distribution. Now there's a couple licenses here. You see the standard YouTube license and also Creative Commons. Okay, so the standard YouTube license, there is a copyright protection and you can actually, uh, in the copyright section of Creator Studio, you can go ahead and flag people that are actually uploading your content. That actually happens here on YouTube. But if you put Creative Commons, that gives you the ability to share with anyone. Anyone can use the Creative Commons type of videos in their videos, and there is no copyright strike. You're basically saying, hey, you know, my copyright's uh, Creative Commons, and uh, anyone can actually use that, uh, not only on YouTube, but also anywhere online. You can learn more about these licensing type by just clicking here, and it can give you a lot more detail than I did. If you want embedding, uh, this is, gives you the ability to allow people to embed your videos on different websites, which is a great traffic generator and get your, your message out there. If you want to stop that, let's go ahead and unclick that. But we want to have that. Now the next button is where you're able to either notify your subscribers or not. If it's checked, it will notify your subscribers. If it's unchecked, it won't send out that notification to your subscribers. Next is your category. Now there's a lot of people that are very concerned about category. This used to be really, really important in the early, early YouTube, but now it's not. YouTube's able to define based off of some video content. I actually did a full presentation on this a couple of years ago at VidCon of how the AI is determining what category to actually put you in. And now for comments visibility, you actually have the option to either hold inappropriate comments or turn on comments or turn off comments. You basically have control over this. Once that's done, we can either hit the next button here or we can click on monetization. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit next and it goes to monetization or you can just click on this up here for the navigation. Either way, we'll get you to the next section. We want to monetize this, so let's go ahead and do that. If you have monetization available, you can choose exactly what you want to do, whether it's overlay ads, if you want sponsored cards, which I do not, and then you have skippable and non-skippable ads. If you are monetized, you are a YouTube partner. If the video is longer than 10 minutes, that you can do some mid-roll and post-roll ads. You can see right now we can do before the video and after the video, but during the video we can't because the ad breaks only happen after 10 minutes. And you have to be a Google partner to even have ads to go on. And now for the ad suitability, this is where you're basically making more revenue faster by self-certifying your content to say, hey, it's exactly what I said earlier that it's, it's not meant for kids or it is meant for kids. Um, it's appropriate for all ages or not appropriate for all ages. You can get very specific if you actually use profanity. You can say, okay, I use light profanity or strong profanity, or you basically don't even click it. You can talk about adult content. You can get very specific on romantic and kissing, blurred content, so on and so forth. And then you can go into violence, same here, and then harmful or dangerous acts, drug related content and hate content firearms related, you can get very specific on that, and also sensitive issues. If it, there is none of the above, you go ahead and click that, and that basically is ready to monetize you, and that's where CPMs are not suppressed. Uh, you'll actually make more money this way, but I'm here to tell you, do not deceive YouTube. They can really see what's actually happening on your YouTube channel. Uh, you don't want anything to flag you. That could lead to a community guideline strike and you do not want to have that. Next, video elements. YouTube gives us the ability to promote other videos that are on our channel or on YouTube at the end of our video or during our video. So at the end of the video is what they call an end screen. Let's go ahead and hit add. Now there's different templates that you can use. This is the one that I like to use right here where it has two videos and then you can be able to subscribe. You see how it comes up right here. And then two, if you want to change the video itself, I'm gonna go ahead and change this one. You come right here to the uh, pencil right here and then you can select any video that you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit that one that's related to this video itself and you hit save and it gives you this little check mark right here when it's actually done let's go ahead and add a card this gives us the ability to promote a video at any time frame within the video go ahead and hit add what we're able to do right here is find exactly we can just kind of scrub through i want it kind of in the last third of the video because you know we want people to actually watch to the end of the video and let's go ahead and add a card and once you're done, you come right up here where it says return to YouTube studio. 
and then you'll get this green checkbox. Now we're here on the last couple settings that we have. Now, before we jump into the visibility section, I wanna let you know, I'm gonna give you a couple big power tips after I teach you. You don't wanna miss out on this. So let's go ahead and jump on visibility and then we'll get to the power tips. So when we look at visibility, we can either save or publish. You can go public, unlisted, private, or members only or you can schedule this. And so let me kind of run down this. Now, if you go public, you can make that uh, visible for everyone to see. And if you do this, what I want you to do is make sure your video file is ready to go. So what you gotta do is click on this link right there and it's gonna pull up your video. What you need to do is come over here to the settings and go to the quality and make sure it has all the settings right here. Cause here's what happens. I've seen people actually publish the video immediately and it's not done uh, completely processing everything. And so it's either little low resolution or people just see kind of this black screen. So you wanna make sure that it gives enough time that the video is ready to go. All you need to do is look at the video link, look under the settings there and you're able to see if that video is ready to go. Now there is a thing called public and then instant premiere. This gives you the ability to do a premiere. This is what it looks like. You're able to do a chat along with the launch of the video. This works extremely well when you have a long form video and you wanna engage with your subscribers and the viewers that are actually coming on and watching. Uh, this is uh, very used a lot <laughs> and it's not necessarily that effective unless it's something special. You can make an unlisted video and you can basically give the link of the video to anyone that you want to share the video with or you can keep private. Um, I usually just upload directly to private and then I just do either a members only where, you know, we can choose what type of members can actually do that. That's another setting that you have to have certain requirements to have that. But this is the one I use time and time again, which is the schedule. So let's go ahead and hit the schedule. We now can schedule the exact date and time we want to release our videos. So I'm going to go ahead and do it on for April 28th and we're going to do it at um let's just do it at 6 15 a.m and we can even set it as a premiere so we can actually go and notify it it'll actually put it up so that people can click on the link and see that there's a countdown before uh, the launch of the video so you can kind of build some hype on it i don't necessarily do that only on special occasions because there's content creators that do that too much and it really um, is just no nothing too special um, so we're going to go ahead and do that and now we're at the point of scheduling that now you're able to see this screen where it basically says you're good to go. Okay, let me go ahead and give you one of the two power tips. The first one is uh, you can actually upload multiple files all at once, save you a ton of time. All you need to do is come either drag and drop or come and select the videos. Keep in mind when you do uh, multiple videos, you can't do more than 15 at a time. So once you hit upload, basically you see this, you see how many it's uploading and where it's at. You can see it's just go ahead and uploading these big files and they're adding it right here. And you can see it has uh, a lot in queue. Now the second power tip, and this is a big one for me because it has saved me literally thousands upon thousands of hours uploading videos and managing all these different channels that I do. And it is a tool called TubeBuddy. Now TubeBuddy is an extension that helps you do your job a lot better. You can go ahead and find the link in the description below at tubebuddy.com forward slash go. And once you have it installed, this is what you're able to do with it. And this is when you're actually getting your video ready to release. Uh, you can go ahead and whether it's in the upload process or we wanna come here right before we do that, just go ahead and click on details. You can do this to any video. You can scroll down here to where uh, your tags are. What TubeBuddy does is finds all the relevant tags that you should use in your videos. And TubeBuddy has done all the research here. They've done the heavy lifting. What you need to do is just add the relevant tags for your videos. And when you post your next video, make sure you tag me on socials because I'd love to see that you're using this as a tip. Plus, I want to feature you in my videos. Now, if you want some more views and visibility for your channel and for your videos, you need to optimize your videos. I made a video specially for that. You can find that right here where I go in depth of what you need to do to get more views and visibility for your videos. And we'll see you on that next video.